Hey everybody, welcome back to Loop Hero. Uh, so here's the thing, we are working towards this uh, Intel Center. Uh, I would also like to see the Chapter 3 boss. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually, I'm going to try out the Rogue in Chapter 3. We'll try to stack evasion and get those, those nice little uh, compounding benefits with this 10% with the Rogue. Uh, for the deck, I think I'm going to go out with this. So we're going to go Cemetery, Village... Uh, ruins. I'm not going to take wheat fields. I don't know. I find that they're a bit of a trap, to be honest with you. Um, those scarecrows cause problems. Um, actually, level three scarecrows, though, I think they're the ones that scare off enemies. So you could make an argument for that. But I don't know. We'll see. I'll walk you through the rest of my logic. Um,. The ruins, I think, are cool. The Scorch Worms, if we can spread these out, they seem to drop pretty decent items. The uh, Spider Cocoons, I'm thinking just for, like, some early stuff to place would be quite helpful. Uh, I'm going to treat this as, like, a farming run. If I can spawn the boss, amazing. That would be, that would be great. But I feel like we're going to see a huge boost in our uh, expeditions if we can buff up our farm by gathering... Um, gathering some better resources so i think the battlefield we probably ditch because we don't really see the value of the chests it later runs we spawn in more goods than we can even fit so i think we get rid of that road lantern to like tame things chrono crystals for the healing with the meadows oblivion for bad stuff i'm gonna not take the storm temples only reason is because you can't evade the lightning and if i want to build evasion then i just want to not take any damage possible and then the treasury to farm i hope this is okay we're basically going to be fighting skeletons spiders worms uh vampires and i don't know if we'll even ransack villages to be honest and i'm only taking villages for healing so yeah let's see how it goes let's see how it goes the priority is to bring back resources though that is that is the main that's the main jam the main jammy wham. You know what I just thought it would be sick for this game? Uh, is if when you changed the stuff you have equipped, it would change the way that your in-game character looks. Like they would actually hold the axe. There's only a few different models that they're using, right? Now, treasury. Okay, so here's what you want to do with treasuries. I'm going to place this one here. Uh, I'll plan for a chrono in this spot. And then we would be able to do, uh, we'd be able to do our L like this. So one, two, three, four meadows. And then those meadows will also stack on this treasury. And you got to kind of plan that in advance because these can't be placed next to things. So here, perfect. Now we can place this. We can do meadows and stuff in between. We'll do our rock up here. Road lantern and villages. We're just going to hold for now. Ooh. Hefty little drop. Come on, Blobberinos. Hook me up. Or, you know, be greedy. You get an early vampire mansion, we'll just throw it on the blobs. Generally pretty okay. Oh, I'm also going to turn on uh, pause at the end of every loop. Just for this class. I think that makes some sense. Give us an opportunity to go through all of our new toys. All right, we'll keep this one activated. All right, what do we got here? Level three Gladius. I like the looks of that. Evasion, evasion, evasion bonus, and crit damage chance. This is like the, the holy grail of rogue boots, let's be honest. Uh, and then 172 armor there. 3 to 5. We don't have any specials on our weapons yet, so let's go with that. If we can find higher levels of this combo where it's evasion, evasion bonus, and crit damage chance, like, that's the dream. We'll probably never see it again.
Man, this is... This has been very convenient. I like that. Oh, let's do a vampire mansion here. Get on these two blobs. Just to maybe get some better drops. So now, 20% of vampires damage dealt to all creatures that have a living attribute. Yep. Summon bats. Cool. And then bats. 20% chance to cause bleeding. Yeah, this is awesome. I love those bats. And then if we're going to, like, ransack a village, that's going to have to be calculated. Because zombies plus bats plus... Plus, uh... That dude. The vampire. Not cool. Not cool at all. Now... Where am I going to place my next batch? Maybe I'll do my next Chrono Crystal here. And do an L like so. I'm going to spawn in some spiders, I think. Uh, I kind of want to know where the spiders are going to spawn. So I place them here, they're going to go on this corner. Place them here, they're going to go here. If we place it here, we can kind of get a little bit unruly. So I just want to make sure that we're controlling them the best that we can. Uh, this is fine, I think. Yeah, we got rocks for days. So here's our first peak. Bring on the harpies, I guess. Alright. So, a little bit better evasion here, but not with that evasion bonus. So, we gotta hit over 12. To make it considerable. We'll replace the sword with this. Nine. That's not going to cut it. And then 275 armor here. Let's cruise. gameplay design decision was behind having the rogue drop all the stuff at the end of the run compared to the other classes. Because you pretty much, you gotta have full confidence you're gonna make it all the way through if you're ever gonna continue. Okay, skeletons. You know what? Let's do this. Let's play skeletons right here. And then with the over the, with the flooding of, of spiders, we should ensure that we only have like one skeleton there probably. And even though it's chrono crystal, I mean it doesn't even matter because spiders spawn so quickly. So I'm fine with that. And that way we're fighting one or two skeletons at a time, probably just one. So we can still get the better drops. Oh, even there, we won't even spawn a skeleton right now. But once we clear it, we probably will. Old frying pan. What do you got? Additionally heals 15% HP when you pass the campfire. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Uh, since this is farming focused first, let's go here. And actually we should go here. Mountain go down like so. Meadow over here. I don't have a chronos, then placing them adjacent to this is obviously pretty nice. Okay, let's look at our weapons first. Do we want any of the defense? I don't think so. I think we just go max damage here. Attack speed and armor. Attack speed 12. Yep. Okay. And evasion, evasion bonus. So this is actually better. And a little bit of defense. Works for me. Evasion is quite obviously still in the baby stages here. We'll complete this treasury as well. Nice. This is one nice thing. 
So you get so you get the drops from quests that happen mid loop, and then you get your treasury drops mid loop, which is kind of nice to have with this class, I guess. Uh, we have our first goblin camp. It's not ideal. Our next uh, our next chrono should be here. Might as well take these now. These are the things we really need, these stable metals, right? First perk. Okay, the hero receives 7% less damage for every enemy starting after the second. I never take this, but I kind of want to try it. Simultaneously attacking two targets is nice, though, with the crit. And the heal is nice with the rogue because we don't have a lot of other healing forms. Hmm. And plus, we want to evade anyways. So this is not as strong. Let's go here. We have another treasury we can build. That, that did a decent amount of damage, actually. Uh, so if I'm going to chrono probably here, right? And we want to do this one. And then we have the meadow situation again. I'm going to throw this in just for some healing. We really don't have evasion items yet. Nothing, nothing considerable. Oblivion this camp. We'll have to fight two goblins. That's life. Nice crit. That was clutch. Uh, I'll just do a village down here to heal. It does bring in a bandit camp, which sucks. Bandits can now, like, steal our items and stuff, which is not cool. There. Ruins. We're going to put... The only thing that would really screw us with these ruins is if blobs spawn in beside them. I could put them with vampires just to get more stuff. But I don't know. Maybe that's... I mean, yeah, they're pretty basic enemies when they're alone, right? This next batch of items it drops needs to be hefty. All right. Oh, so perfect. Look at this. Uh, this is nice. We have three spiders, one skeleton, one boss spider, which is unfortunate, but that's how things go. So if we can replicate that, I think that's a decent farming thing. I might... This bandit camp's blocking the ideal road lantern situation. I think I'll do another one of those. Let's go here. We could do ruins like this spot, I guess. Or maybe I should put it here if I want to do the same kind of idea. That might be too intense for us. We'll see. I might have, might bite off more than I can chew there. Ooh, nice. Come on, drops. We need something nice here. Please help. Okay, we're full health. That part is positive. We got a level 7. We still don't have weapons with modifiers, though. That's rough. So this is evasion boosted, but not really. Oh, this is not ideal at all. These are bad, 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 bad drops. So 14%. Here's a level... Here's 22. 
it's better. Uh, ideally, we can start getting evasion on other stuff. We're just we're just not seeing it. Do I want this attack speed at 12, or do I just take more HP? I think I take more HP. It's a pretty big boost. Things are feeling sweaty here. Need some big evades. Oh, nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. I think this is a cool combo, man, with the spiders kind of filtering out how many uh, dudes we deal with. Where are we at for goblin camps? 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Uh, this is fine. I'm not going to be too picky. Oh, could have activated that one. And now I can Road Lantern this too, so it'll simmer that down even a little bit more for us. This just spawned in a second spider. Lovely. I'm gonna try to hold off place in my rocks. Ooh! Wait, what is happening here? Skeleton Archer takes part in battles on adjacent tiles. Uh, okay. Range combat, third row. Minus 30% damage in second, 60% in first. Skeleton Archer. Holy crap. Wait, what happened there? So, okay. So, the, the, the cemeteries now have an adjacency thing. <laughs> okay. So, they're kind of like the worms. That's really neat. It's like an evolution. Because, like, ruins and cemetery... Very, very cool. But something we'll have to keep in mind. Oh, so they're all skeleton archers now? Wait, why is this happening? Why are these guys archers? What am I missing? Why are these guys archers? I mean, it's good here. May resurrect a shattered skeleton and take 70% less damage from archers of our own. Okay. Okay, so we have heals, we have slimes. We drop in like another village here to heal more. But that's gonna spawn. Wait, one, two, three. That's gonna spawn bandits. So I kind of want to chill on that. That's so trippy that the skeletons turn archer like that. Okay, well, let's do the same thing here. If we don't have anything adjacent, it's still good. We have more ruins. Let's go here. Okay. There's our reward. Not much of a reward. <laughs> So we have another treasury. If I'm going to place this, pretty much has to go up here. If I uh, chrono here, meadow L like this, and then have the treasury. Plus we have this for adjacency stuff. Alright, so there's an Oblivion. Now, do I want to build more rocks? Or do I want to build more housing? I think I want to build more housing because I really would like to heal. I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to immediately get rid of that. And... Do, 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 do. We were going to build the next Chrono down here, but now that we have the Treasury, I think we might as well take this. Okay. 
I think I need to simmer on placement for now because, as you can see, things are not looking amazing. Can't really get that evasion going right now. Okay, let's see how this feels. We're relying on these really low evades. Uh, we can replace this one. I think we're dead. God. That's nasty, dude. <laughs> That is nasty. That was really unlucky. We just couldn't get any evasion at all. But that's okay. Uh, we got a little closer there. So maybe what I should do, maybe I should take us out to like a level two run, just farm this. I wonder what I should farm it with. Let's try with the rogue. That was really unlucky. I feel like our our card idea is pretty good. And I'm guessing because this is chapter 2 now, uh, we will have the ability to... Actually, let me place these way out in the far corner. Um, we'll have the ability to deal with archers, or not deal with skeleton archers. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, yeah. So let's put this one here. We'll do a chrono off this way. Maybe a treasury. Man. One of the issues that we might have felt there is since we took out those groves, we might not be feeling the same amount of, like, uh, of love from the drops. Just spread those out a bit. Now, okay, I don't want to place these meadows yet because I want to be able to place the treasury. If I don't place... If I place the treasury first, then I can place the meadows. If I place the meadows first, I can't do the treasury. Okay. Throw that one in. Place this guy, and then we go 3% evasion, 6% evasion. So I wonder if, if the skeletons are always um, archers now in Chapter 3 as like a new skill, or I wonder if that's because of the spiders or something. Don't know. So this would complete our chrono crystal there and put us three levels towards the treasury. All right, let's try this. Uh, here is fine. It's gonna double spawn, but that's okay. As it'll pretty much be full all the time with spiders anyhow. Village doesn't really help me right now. So let's hold it. Okay. Crit damage. Evasion. Okay, this is... Aw when you get this on a weapon, this is very nice. Guess we'll just go here. This is giving us more evasion. This is giving us crit damage. Eh, actually, well, it's the damage output that we kind of need, right? I think for now, I'm not going to worry about it too hard. Level 3 boots. Alrighty. 
Getting some skeletons early on could get us some improved drops. I guess maybe the village gives us quests. Maybe I should place it. Let's wait till we need the healing. You want to do any vampire blobs? I don't know if we have many on the map. Not a ton. <laughs> Probably do a village over in this section. Ooh, okay, double oblivions are nice, but currently unnecessary. So let's village. What if I village next to this? Is that a problem? I don't think so. Village there, and then we'll get quests. So maybe improve our drops a bit. Uh, let's start placing our other meadows. So let's do a chrono over here. More damage. Okay, so there's a boss blob. There we go. Building the treasury, though. So let's say I'm going to double, I'm going to do chrono, like, maybe over here. And we could do this. Just so I can get these on the map. I don't really want to pair... Maybe I shouldn't have brought the vampire mansions. Because I don't really want to pair them with this group. I don't want to deal with their bats. Okay, here we go, maybe. Attack speed and crit damage chance. Damage to all attack speed, crit damage. No, we'll take this. Uh, we got 18 on the boots. Oh, actually. Actually, I think we're going to take this only because of the evasion stacking. We have evasion there and crit damage there. So let's replace 18 to 26 at the top. Yep, that's fine. So 39% evasion. For the rogue, that's a much better spot. So all of a sudden, I'm seeing some life here. And they don't seem to be archers, so I'm guessing that's a chapter three thing. Oh, let's get Child of the Forest going. <laughs> let's go, baby. I'm surprised they haven't nerfed that. I feel like 75% is a lot. Let's uh, bring in a goblin camp. Yeah, let's see how this feels now. Having that rat wolf is super nice. Well, we're still... Getting punched in the you-know-what. This place is ready. Man, we're not getting our treasuries. We're not getting our chrono crystals. Hard life out there. Counter and critical damage. 
Nope. I'm gonna roll with evasion until I die. Jeez. You notice the difference when we don't have that rat wolf against these spiders. Okay. So, we can place more of these. Um, I think for now, until we get a bit stronger, I'm going to road lantern to keep this at, at that. Um, I will also spider... Oh yeah, that's not a good spot. I have to think about if I want my spiders to spawn, where do I want them? If I want them to spawn with the skeletons, this won't work. Because there's too many adjacent tiles. This won't work either. So this might just be skeletons. Uh, you know what? Let's not. Let's just put this here and see how that feels. Uh, I could road lantern if I wanted. So it doesn't get too crazy. That'll keep this in check as well. Yeah. I still need more evasion. Just more. Always more. Alright, what do we got? Ooh, some nice boosts here. Crit damage chance, crit damage chance, and crit damage, but this one gives way more HP. Defense and attack speed. We're getting 9% evasion there. Critical damage, counter. Ugh. So we're going to lose evasion by switching. But... It's way more HP. So I think we have to do it. Uh, do I replace this evasion? That's a tougher question. Can I get 18 to 26 on anything else? I can at least do this. And then, yeah, I think we try this, see how we feel. We're just not getting the evasion drops yet. Okay, I'm going to pause here. When we come back, we're going to pick up from level 5 or loop 5. Remember, this is a farming priority run. But uh, if we're feeling really strong, then, hey, we'll, we'll defeat the boss. Um, but we're going to have to be in, like, the perfect scenario to do that. So we'll see how we do. Wish me luck. See you next time.